Well, the, the pre-check and the qualifications and, yeah. and that sort of thing. Um, is that similar in most places? And is there any red flags that people should be looking at um, just to keep themselves safe? The red flag that I would look for is if, if they um, gloss over the wellness check. I think it's irresponsible to put a senior through the upheaval of moving into a community if it's not the right fit for them. I'd rather turn people away right from the outset, say, you know what, we're not the right choice for you. I'm sorry, you, you know, go to Unison. They've got a great directory to help you find other options. But I'd rather have that question answered up front rather than have somebody move in on the misguided impression that they're going to get care that can't be provided. And I've had several instances where people moved into another community with nice amenities. And then a couple of months later, I'm getting the call. Oh, they told us we have to move out. It's like, well, oh. if that's because they, it, well, in my opinion, I wasn't directly involved, but secondhand, to me, that's where the assessment is critical. You, you need to know what you're dealing with and you need to be realistic about it. Our assessment typically involves just a medical questionnaire from a, an applicant's family physician. So it's not an invasive process. We're not taking bodily fluids or, you know, doing anything like that. We're just getting a report on their medical history, any medications they're on. There may be some follow-up questions, but just so we're making, everybody's making a fully informed decision 